There was panic, station master arrested, transport minister resigns after Greek train wreck kills 43, updates. The death toll rose to at least 43 and a railroad worker was arrested Wednesday after the fiery head-on collision of passenger and freight trains near the town of Tempe in northern Greece. More than 80 people were injured, and the Greek government declared three days of national mourning after the country's deadliest rail crash. Rail operator Hellenic Train said the passenger train was traveling from Athens to Thessaloniki, Greece's second-largest city and a popular tourist destination that describes itself as the gateway to the Aegean Sea. The train carried 350 people, including many university students returning home from Carnival, a three-day national party that precedes the Christian season of Lent. Multiple cars derailed and at least three burst into flames after the two trains ran into each other at high speed just before midnight Tuesday, authorities said. Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis pledged an independent investigation and said the crash appeared to be mainly due to a tragic human error, but did not elaborate. Rescue crews spent hours combing through the wreckage, listening for the calls of survivors. Cranes were brought in to peel away layers of twisted, burned steel. Eight rail employees were killed, including the two drivers of the freight train and the two drivers of the passenger train, Greek Railroad Workers Union President Yanis Nitsis said. Train station official arrested. The station master in the city of Larissa, near where two trains collided Tuesday night, has been accused of manslaughter by negligence and grievous bodily harm by negligence, police said. The station master, who is in charge of signaling, denies wrongdoing and has blamed the accident on a possible technical failure, the BBC reported. A police statement identified the station master only as a 59-year-old man. He's due to appear before a prosecutor Thursday to be formally charged. Two other people have been detained for questioning, police said. Authorities did not immediately reveal their connection to the crash, and no cause was immediately revealed. There was panic, survivors recount horrifying moments. Some survivors said the collision felt like an earthquake. We heard a big bang, Sturgios Menenis, 28, who jumped to safety from the wreckage, told Reuters. We were turning over in the carriage until we fell on our sides and until the commotion stopped. Then there was panic. Cables, fire. The fire was immediate. As we were turning over, we were being burned. He described 10 to 15 seconds of chaos amid dangling cables, broken windows and flames, people screaming, people trapped. Stefanos Gogekos was in a rear carriage and said the crash felt like an explosion. He could see flames at the front of the train. The glass in the windows shattered and fell on top of us, he told state broadcaster ERT. My head hit the roof of the carriage with a jolt. Some people started to climb out through the windows because there was smoke in the carriage. The doors were closed, but in a few minutes train staff opened them and we got out. How did the train crash happen? The trains crashed just before the Vale of Tempe, a gorge that separates the regions of Thessaly and Macedonia, 235 miles north of Athens. Kostas Agaristos, the regional governor in Thessaly, told Greece's Sky Television that two trains collided head-on at high speed.
Peerage 1 and 2 no longer exist, and the third has derailed, he said. Survivors said the impact threw several passengers through the windows of train cars. They said others fought to free themselves after the passenger train buckled and slammed into a field near the gorge, 